Hi guys, this is Aida Lamonte from BSA and Two Social Studies. So for today's video, we'll tackle about the different models of disability. But before we'll go to the different models of disability, we'll first define the models of disability. Of disability are tools for defining impairment and ultimately for providing a basis upon which government and society society can devise strategies for meeting the needs of disabled people. So when we say models of disability, these are the instruments for defining the impairment or a foundation for societal and governmental plans which addresses needs to the person with disability and it is also the foundation for understanding the disability concerns of the person or the, or the particular person who have this kind of condition. Models of disability are the foundation which gives help to those who are in need, especially those persons with disability. And for most part, models of disability are created by people for the other people. So this is what we have. That's why we have different models because the different models are the people who are making it and that so that they could give or lend their help to those who have disability. So models can then be used to show how our society allows or restrict access for person with disability to have jobs, goods, services, economic doubt, and political power. So in models of disability, they have different benefits or different influences that brings to the people with disability. Religious model views disability as a punishment inflicted upon individual or family by an external force. It can be due to misdemeanors committed by the disabled person, someone in the family or community group, or for beers. So the first model of disability is which the moral or religious model. So the moral model is which the idea that people are ethically accountable for their own disabilities. When we say this concept portrays disability as a stigma and implies that people with disabilities or their own families are responsible for some unrecognized actions of them, which resulted into handicap. But the moral model stated that people with disabilities are embarrassing and pitiful. We should feel sorry for them. Up until the mid of 18s, most people thought about disability and about the people who had disabilities using the moral value. For example, if the impairment is not hereditary, it might be blamed on parents' behavior or terrible behavior or it is in the witchcraft. So this mindset may also be seen as a religious fundamentalist outgrowth in the early human animal roots. So when people would murder an any infant that lacked the ability to survive of, of its own, Indian faith's karma doctrines use that this in these certain ways. So if a person murder an any infant that ha that have no no faith no faith in surviving of their own in Indian faiths, they might get karma, karma in that certain model. A bio the, the medical model is a surrogate for a human being or a human biological system that can be used to understand normal and abnormal function from gene to phenotype and to provide a basis for a preventive or therapeutic intervention in human disease. So the second model of disability is the biomedical or individual mod model. So when we say biomedical model of disability is which emphasizes on patholo pathology or impairment and depicts on disability as the result of medical condition, diseases, or trauma that might 
impede a person's ability to function in either a physiological, cognitive way is centered on pathology and impairment. So the attention then shifts to the conditions of prevention or treatment, which is often overseen by the treating of physician, who also decide how to service well be provided. So this model has drawn a lot of criticism because in the opinion of some, it makes a number of problematic assumptions about the matter of the disability. So around the time of the First World War, there was a strong belief that the doctor should instruct injured service members on how to act, how to recover, how to return to active duty as soon as possible. This model like that might have made sense in that cultural setting, but not in the modern society as a whole. Which is the model is similar to the medical model in that it conceptualizes disability as impairment of deficit. Disability is caused by physical, medical, or cognitive deficits. So, the third model of disability is the functional or rehabilitation model. So, the functional or rehabilitation model is a quite similar to the biomedical model in that it sees the P PWD as having an impairment of deficits. Disability is caused by physical, medical, or cognitive deficits. The, the ability itself limits a person functioning or the ability to perform functional activities. These deficits can justify the need to undergo in rehabilitative intervention like the therapies, counseling, and the like in the aim of reintegrating that is able to society. So when we say functional or rehabilitation model, considers the expression of a disability as something that can be treated much like a doctor treats like a disease and it stresses the adoption of a treatment sediment. So strategy or service that improves functional capacity rather than addressing the underlying condition or impairment. Thank you so much for watching again. This is Aida Lamante from BSA 2 Major in Social Studies reporting.